So uh, this is how to swallow to avoid dry socket. Um, it's just a little bit of a silly question because you actually cannot get a dry socket from swallowing in any way whatsoever. Ever. Um, I know that people are, are probably worried about this because you know usually after you immediately get the tube taken out your dentist will tell you uh, three main things right it's number one is no rinsing number two is no spitting and number three is no drinking through a straw because all three of those create a lot of intraoral pressure in the mouth right imagine like spitting really vigorously right the pressure from spitting can sometimes dislodge the blood clot and that's usually when you keep on uh, bleeding afterwards right it's like that those three things are the main reasons why people do not stop bleeding after uh, getting their tooth removed so you know some people kind of apply that concept to swallowing i guess um you know they're thinking maybe if they swallow really hard they could you know dislodge the blood clot and then somehow end up with a dry socket however you cannot get a dry socket simply by uh you know mechanically dislodging the, the blood clot. So, I mean, essentially you can't get a dry socket from swallowing, uh, spitting, rinsing, or drinking through a straw, because all three of those are, are mechanical processes. Um, from what we know about how dry sockets form is that it is a biological um, process and not a mechanical one. So just because you, I mean, a dry, the definition of a dry socket is that there's the, the socket is dry and there's nothing in the hole at all all so that means there won't be a blood clot in there right um, but you know but losing the blood clot does not mean you have a dry socket when you when you lose the blood clot right you'll just keep on bleeding right and that's not a, a dry socket a dry socket is you know there's absolutely no fluid or liquid inside and it just hurts like hell <laughs> but um, but yeah, so that's about it. So don't worry about how you, you swallow uh, because you won't get a dry socket. Although there are some things that do increase the chances of you getting a dry socket, such as uh, smoking. Smokers have three times the chance of getting a dry socket than a non-smoker. And another potential cause would be if you've had a dry socket before, that puts you at greater risk of getting another one. All right, and that's about it.